delay as used at the Pitbull Audio Guitar Clinic. My name is Tony. Today's featured guitar tone pack is the release of the Pitbull Clinic that Jordan Lynch had earlier this year that I recorded. Uh, the video is below. And I just fell in love with this long delay that I've never heard him use before. Because he's always had short delays. But this delay is a long delay. <laughs> because if you think it's too overlapping we can lower that so it's not so overlapping but the fact that it's a longer delay where he's used to playing at 350 between 350 and 400 milliseconds this one's way up there in the stratosphere so we're gonna have some fun with this delay We're going to get out of this tone. And real fast, I'm using the Boss Evan JS10, which has the Boss GT100 FX processor built in. My settings will work with whatever you have, your stomp boxes, rack mounts, computer-based software, Line 6 Helix, all the fractal audios, whatever you have. I'll get you there. Just look at the screen. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, or requests, leave them below. We're going to have a lot of fun. This is the legendary Jordan Lynch Pitbull Guitar Clinic guitar tone that I came up with. <laughs> awesome for pitch harmonics. This is my David Beltran custom uh, Tiger built with the Demarzio Stupid Distortion Pickups. That is my go-to pickup. So everybody, people ask, what kind of pickups do you use? 99.9, .9, I use Demarzio Stupid Distortions or Stupid Distortion 2 pickups. Um, I tried them all, and this is my favorite pickup. So, you have something to say? <laughs> well, let's get to it. Let me get out of this tone. Tone patch. So we get out of there and here we go. Now people ask, Tony, what are you doing on the computer? Well, very soon I'm going to incorporate video in video. I think it was D Rockney. I forgot your name or your username. I think it was D Rockney or something like that. Uh, I should have done it years ago. I just haven't because, long story short, uh, I've always been using Windows Movie Maker for my video edits. And I know it's like from the dinosaur era, but it's what is built into Windows 10. And I think, yeah, Windows 10, whatever it is. And um, uh, I've been using Windows Movie Maker for forever. So I hope to be getting a new video editor within a week or two, which will allow me to put picture in picture so that when you see me, you'll see the picture right over here in the corner or over here or down here. So you'll see me tweak the settings. Uh, in real time as opposed to uh, you know what I'm doing right now so stay tuned for that <laughs> I need to upgrade my video editor or I need to call Robert Baker or Steve from Boston and say hey give me some tips on the computer <laughs> give me some tips on the computer picture in picture because I've never done that before and I'm sure it's easy but just my software Windows Movie Maker does not let me do that it doesn't have that feature it's it's, it, it works good, and I like it, but I like to incorporate video and video, or at least video and picture, picture and video, you know, shrink me, put the image really big, or vice versa, whatever. So that's coming, uh, hopefully, within a month, I'll have that technology, but I hope to have that within a week or two. 
All right, so that's really quick. So right now I have my laptop with the settings already on the screen of the actual settings of the Pitbull Clinic. But since I'm dialing in on my email, right here, see my email? I have a clean setting on my email, so I'm going to work it in with you. Uh, I'm going to walk you through this in real time with a clean slate. At the end of this video, you'll see all my uh, snapshots. Again, so, but stick around because throughout the video, some people like to fast forward to get the settings. You can do that, but throughout the video though, I tweak those settings and give you an extra tone, two extra tones, three extra tones that are not going to be in the snapshots. So if you want to race over to the snapshots, by all means go for it. That's the tone. But in each video, I tweak that tone and I give you maybe a freebie or two freebies or three, three freebie tones in the video that's not in the snapshot. So you'll want to stick around for this video to get all the freebies, if there's any, as well as the final product, all right? Tony, you're talking too much. Good. As you can tell, <laughs> excuse me, i just been under the weather in the past two, two and a half weeks. You know, Tony, we missed you. I know you missed me. Tony, where are the videos? Uh, they're here, but, you know, I have to look presentable. I got to put on my makeup. I got to do my hair. Look, I got to do my hair. I used to have long hair, and it was like down here. I was like doing this with the hair. I was flicking the hair back, and um, so. But I've been sick, uh, but I'm getting over it. And no, it's not the coronavirus either. So knock on wood, it's not the coronavirus. But I'm getting over my cold. I just had a long for a long time, but I'm feeling better. So the videos are coming. The videos are coming. And again, I promised you a cheesecake pizza video. That's also coming. And that lists all the new tones I created in my absence. I have like, oh, at least 10, 15 new tones. And I can tell you right now, but that's for another video. So stick around. I'm feeling better and the videos will be coming out. Uh, and sh quick shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this channel because there is no other channel like this. I will show you things, teach you things, share with you things. And I'm all about sharing. I don't hoard. I don't hide. I don't, there's nothing, there's just, if you want to know something, if I can share it with you, I'm going to give it to you for free, and that's just, you know, I'm, I'm here to share and give it to you so that you guys can have fun with it, all right? Let's go ahead and begin. So this is my Pitbull Clinic, and let's go ahead and select an amp, and uh, I don't have my tablet here, but I have an extreme lead. So basically what this is, is going to be a very hot, um, let me grab my tablet really fast. So just give me one second. Maybe I'll cut this part out. I want to get my tablet really fast. All right, real fast. What I want to do is I want to see what this Extreme Lead Amp uh, emulates. So hold on one second. And I should be able to tell you. Uh, I can tell my tablet here. And I have the settings here of all the eBay amps eBay, eBay amps, and I'll show it to you real fast on the screenshot, watch. So I'm using a, an Extreme Lead amp for Boss, which emulates, uh, where is it at, oh, an original stack amp with even frequency response. So whatever you have, um, according to this, it emulates um, an original stack amp, so whatever stack amp you have, uh, with even frequency response. So let's go ahead and pick a nice amp with gain and so forth. And um, I don't know if you can see this, but maybe I'll just put the screenshot later. But, I, yeah, you can't see that, so you won't be able to see that. I'll put the screenshot of the amps and so forth. So we're going to choose, uh, I chose an extreme lead amp, which I'll show you what that sounds like right now. Uh, so here it is with uh, the my clean patch is this. Now let's go ahead and pick a, an extreme lead. Here we go. See the difference? So right there, uh, my default is at 50 in the game. So just basically pick a, a good stack amp that you're comfortable with and just use that. It makes no really a difference. You want to use Marshall, Soldano, Laney, 
random. Go for it. Try different amps, all right? But this is the amp that I chose. All right, so real fast, let's go through this tone. Uh, gain. And again, sorry I don't have picture in picture. That's coming very soon, all right? And then you'll be able to see me dialing it in. All right, but for now, this is what's been working, and you have to deal with it. All right. Uh, gain, I have my gain for this George Lynch tone at 78. Again, I don't have his settings. I couldn't see. Uh, but since I had the video and I was there in person, this is what I picked up, what I heard, and I was hearing all sorts of things. And I'm really happy with this. That's why I'm sharing it with you. I only share with you my tones that I'm thinking, okay, these are ready to go. They're yours. Now, again, you guys can tweak it and make it better. All right, so real fast, my gain is going to be at 78. <laughs> And my effect level for this is going to be at 82. Now, again, I'm using my screen because my screen shows me the settings I'm going to copy onto the eBay. All right. So next in the chain, my base, I'm going to put my base at 35. My middle is going to be at 50. We're going to go really fast and hopefully Pippi doesn't wake me uh, wake up. Middle's at 50, my treble, I'm going to put it at 65. I'm going to get rid of that hum in just a bit with the noise gate. And the presence, I have it at zero. So real fast, bass at 35, middle at 50, treble at 65, and presence at zero. chain this is a very easy pass but I love it because it's a long delay for George which in all my life or all my life and all his career I never heard him use this long of a delay all right my T comp I have it on but it's at zero if you don't have it don't worry about it but it's just on my menu but you'll see it on the screenshots okay so uh, we have no compressor on so we're gonna we have no compressor pedal effect on it so we we'll go ahead and turn that off and my screenshot shows it but it shows it off so forget you're not using any compressor all right what's next I do have obviously um, a overdrive distortion now this tone is separate from my tone series of George Lynch's demoing all those overdrive distortions remember that video or uh, when I told you about I emulated those tones this Pitbull Clinic is totally separate from that. Those videos are coming up next. This is the Pitbull Audio Clinic that came before I discovered that video. So this is not related to the video of me copying his settings on that. Okay, this is totally separate. All right, I am using a clean boost um, overdrive uh, for my overdrive. So we're going to go ahead and um, select clean boost. That's my overdrive, a clean boost. And what else do I have here? Uh, my drive. Now, see, this is where I learned from George Lynch. Um, my drive, I have my drive at 10. So I have a clean boost overdrive. My drive is at 10. My bottom is at 0. My tone is at 0. And my effect level is at 56. All right, this is the before and after. Remember, that's just the amp. Now we're going to turn the clean boost on. With the drive at 10, bottom and tone at 0, and the effect level 56. Alright, not bad. Alright, what's next? This is a really easy tone. Alright, my noise gate, I have it at 50, right in the middle. Hold on, baby, hold on. She's waking up, so she may make an appearance. I have no EQ. Obviously, George doesn't use EQ. So on this tone, I have no EQ. Let's turn the EQ off. Uh, if modulations, I have no modulations, no chorus, no re no flanger, nothing of like that. So if your modulations are off. See, we're almost done with this tone. Uh, what makes this tone is the reverb and the delay. All right. 
So the delay, the magic ingredient, and what do I have here? This is what I came up with based on what I heard. Uh, normally, I'm always for Jordan Lynch, 350 to 400 milliseconds. For this tone from the Pitbull Audio Guitar Clinic, uh, when he was playing it, I heard a long delay. I put it at 868, all right? So 868 milliseconds. So go ahead and do your delay and put it at 868 milliseconds. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this, all right? The effect level is what's gonna make it more and more Jordan Lynch or less and less of the George Lynch. Because sometimes it's gonna, the repeat's gonna follow you too quickly and it may overlap your noodling. So we'll get it right there to where it's manageable. All right, so 868, I'm almost there. All right, 867, 868. All right, my feedback for this is at 14. And again, at the end of this video, you'll see uh, the snapshots. And high cut, I have it at 4.00. Again, we have one more parameter, we're done. And the effect level for this, I have it at 75. All right, here's the magic. Uh, without the delay. And I always do this. Because when George Lynch does that, always, you hear his delay. And every concert that's on video, YouTube, performance, you always hear that delay and that reverb. This sounds really, really good. Right now, it's dry, right? Let's turn on the George Lynch Pitbull guitar clinic delay at 868 milliseconds. Now when I first heard him uh, warming up, I was like, whoa, why does he have such a long delay? But then it sounded really good. Right now, it's still a little bit dry, right? Let's add a little bit of ambiance with the reverb and we're done, all right? Because we're not going to oversaturate it. We're not going to play with it. We're going to enjoy it. All right, so uh, lastly, reverb. I have my reverb at room. My reverb time at 1.7. It's off right now. Uh, my high cut, I have it at 2.00. And my effect level for this, I have it at 50, the reverb. All right, before and after. Put on the Jordan's reverb, here we go. I'm gonna hear for it. Now, uh, in my earlier performance of this tone, I went back and I tweaked it. Uh, hold on, baby, hold on, hold on, hold on. My delay, uh, I had it at 75 for the settings, but when I played that demo, I beefed it up to like 82 because I had the drum track and I wanted to get it through. effect level on the delay at 88. That's totally fine. 
Remember, my delay was originally at 75. Let's drop it back down to 82. <laughs> My effect level for the delay is at 82, but it calls for 75. This is where you can have fun with it. Drop it down. Want to drop it further? Let's go ahead and drop it further. Uh, let's put it to 62 instead of 75. See? And there you have it, that is my George Lynch Pitbull guitar clinic tone that I did my best to emulate. Have fun with it. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. And I'll see you folks real soon. I, again, I have a lot of surprises coming, but I've just been under the weather. So spare me uh, the, my absence, uh, or excuse the absence, please, uh, because I've just been under the weather. And you can't have me looking like crap, all disheveled, unshaven, making videos. You just can't have that. You have to have me all dolled up, I can put on my makeup. What else? I gotta do my nails. I gotta do the nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tony. Thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, again, I got a lot of good surprises coming. Trust me, uh, you'll enjoy the. These are very well-known guitar players. But that's for a video because I want to talk about. It. Oh, you hear that? That's that's Pippi. Hold on, Pippi. I want to tell you what these guitar players are. And I don't want to tip off my hat until I tell you who they are. Because the, the tones are already done. The snapshots are already done. But I would like to make those videos with picture in picture. So you'll see me, and then you'll see on the bottom of the screen, me tweaking the tones live. So give me like a week or two for that technology. Hopefully I get that in a few days though. But again, it's no big deal. But I would just prefer to make my videos that way now. My tone videos uh, where you can see me either in the corner or see the parameters right here in the corner as I'm tweaking them. And you're all telling me, uh, you live in the dinosaur era. I know, I know. I, I have Windows Movie Maker. But it's gotten me good. Uh, it's done me well so far. All right, so that's it. I've been under the weather, but I'm feeling much, much, much better. And yes, I'm back, and I have lots to share. And uh, I got a lot of your uh, requests and feedback. And I haven't forgotten you. But if you think I've forgotten you, uh, yell at me. Send me an email, say, Tony, what's up, you mother effer. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'll see you folks real soon, and uh, that's it. Again, I have a lot of stuff coming for you, and uh, it's just good to be back. And um, so that's it. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you folks real soon. And uh, thanks, everybody. All right, bye.